In this video, we're going to replace the stock mechanical brakes on the Jansno X50 with these four piston hydraulic brakes with the motor cutoff switch that plugs in play. A link to this product is above and also in the description. But before we get started on this, I hope that you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and let's get started. So we're going to do a brake test before and after we change out to hydraulic brakes. So let's get after it doing the before and then we'll mark it off and then we'll do the brake test after. We're gonna remove the old mechanical brakes using the hex key multi-tool that came with the bike. I'm going to remove these two bolts and also remove this bolt to loosen the cable. I'm gonna cut this zip tie, so you're gonna need a spare zip tie. Don't pull the cable through the frame until you attach the new hydraulic cable. And then you can pull it through the frame and use it as a guide all the way up here to the handlebars. I'm going to have to remove the throttle and this outer grip in order to get the old brake off and then install the new one. So Now this little ferrule on the end, I'm going to squeeze it the opposite way of the crimping, and then I'll be able to pull it through. There we have it. So I removed all my cable wraps. Now I'm going to be removing this throttle and the handle grip. Make sure you don't lose this end cap. This prevents the throttle from getting pinched against the rubber grip. These are the new handlebars I put on. I didn't like that beach cruiser style handlebars, so I replaced them with these for about $30. A link to that video is above. Disconnect the motor cutoff switch. Before I pull everything through, like I said, I'm going to do the hydraulic brake cable attached to it and then slide it through the frame. Now I'm going to remove this bracket here. You can use this bracket if you buy the bigger rotors and want to put bigger rotors, but I'm going to use the original bracket. So I'm going to remove these bolts and install the new caliper on the original bracket. All right, I'm going to pull the clip. This prevents the caliper from closing. I'm gonna slide it over the wheel like this. Fits nicely. And I'm gonna use the bolts that came with the new caliper. Install it. Looks like it's rubbing a little bit, so I might have to put a spacer or two. So what I'm gonna do is use the spacers that came with the original bolts. Looks like I only need one spacer on the bottom. Just going to put this on hand tight. I'm going to come back and adjust it. And the easy way to adjust this is you squeeze the brake lever and it centers uh, the caliper on this when you have these bolts loosened and then tighten these bolts down and then the caliper will be loosened. But for routing purposes, I got this mounted, the distance on the rotor is nice with that spacers that I have and now I'm going to tape this on the end of here so that I can pull it through the frame. Going to install the brake lever here. It's nice that it comes with a cap so it's easier to install than sliding it on like the other ones. But this brake lever has the motor kill switch, so it plugs and plays. It's a two-pin motor kill switch. This is going to go on like that. All right, I got the new brake lever installed up here, reinstalled the throttle, the little cap, the handle grip. I'm starting to install these twist ties. 
Remember to twist tie them on and shove them in the frame so it protects the cables on the sharp part of the frame as it enters here. I also put the cable stay on there. I'm going to install the one here. And then the last bit is just to connect everything up here. And okay, you can see here that this hydraulic brake cable is about a foot too long. So I could cut it here, put a new swage on here and an olive, or in order to not cut the line, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of loop it down behind the headlight so you don't see it. So I'm going to put it over here by this directional and then loop it around under some of this cabling. And then it won't be so bad. It'll end up being kind of like this. And that's not so bad. You really don't see it down there. And I'm going to clean up the cable with the cable wrap so it'll be nice and tight in there. Um, you want to connect your brake motor cutoff switch, which is here. And all right, the last thing to do is connect the hydraulic cable to the hydraulic brake lever. And you'll see that there's a cap here and there's a cap on here. You want to minimize the amount of air or leakage that you get of the fluid because it's ready to go. Now it comes with these three parts here. You have this rubber cap, which you want to put on first, slides down. And then what you're going to want to do is take this black nut here and you're going to remove this little cap and keep this vertical and you're going to want to slide that black nut on like that and then slide this olive on. This is a little... Uh, brass olive that's what gets swaged into the brake area and you'll want to push that on right where the tip is okay I had to use a little mallet to pound that on softly and gently not to damage the edge of that olive but now you can see that it's flush with the end I'm just gonna have that held there and then I want to make sure that my brake lever the reservoir is as much downhill as possible to keep as much fluid in this reservoir. Now I'm going to use a 12 millimeter socket to loosen that bolt. I could also use a crescent wrench. And then I'm going to use the brake cable that I have set up. And I will put the olive and the cable into the reservoir. I got this loose. I'm going to get this positioned. Have the cable here. And I have everything set to go. All right. See how quick I did that? Then you're going to use this black nut. And secure that down as best as you can. You'll need to use this wrench or you can use an eight millimeter to get this tightened down and secure this. What you want to do is make sure that the olive is secured inside the lever assembly. Just going to go a smidge past finger tight. I'm going to use a little bit of a rag to clean this up. And then you have your dust cap that simply pops right on. Okay, I got that assembled. I put the dust cap up here. I'm going to get these cables cleaned up and put those ties on it. You can see that it's pretty tight already. I don't think I need to go and adjust anything. Looks pretty good. I will go back to the rear brake and adjust it so that it's not rubbing on one side. I'll show you how to do that real easy. I can move over and do the front brake. The front brake was back ordered. I might do that at a later point, but the assembly will be even easier because you don't have to route it through the frame, but it's the same essential assembly. I'm going to go out and do a brake test to see how much shorter distance I stopped compared to the mechanical brake that I had on the rear. And 
I think this bike is pretty much upgraded. I'm going to run through these tires and then I'm going to move over and do these Kendra Crusades. Those definitely last on my other e-bike and I really like it. A link to that video is above and also in the description. So align these rear brakes really easily. What I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen this up like this using these two bolts. The brake can move in and out freely this direction. And what I'm going to do is reach up here and squeeze it. Now I know the brake pads are centered on the rotor. And I'm going to go ahead and tighten this down. All right, then release the brake. And I know that it's centered on that brake rotor. You can see the wheel spins freely now, and I'm all aligned. Let's go do that brake test. Get to 20 miles an hour. Wow. All right. I could skid the rear tire. I could not do that with the mechanical brakes. Now, I stopped at least seven feet or two meters shorter. This is where I stopped with the full mechanical brakes. Now, if I were to upgrade the front brakes to hydraulics and go to 180 millimeters, I'm sure I could stop in a drastically reduced distance. So I'm happy with the results just in the back. So I'll probably go ahead and upgrade the front. I hope that you like this video. Subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, please leave in the comments. Thanks for watching.